Hey guys, welcome back to another P3D video. Today we're flying the Singapore Airlines 787-10. This is the quality wing 787. They just released their service pack 2. So now we have the 787-10. It's an absolutely amazing aircraft to fly and I can't wait to get it in the air again. So in my last stream that I did in this aircraft, we flew from Singapore, Singapore to Hong Kong. So we're now flying it back to uh, Singapore from Hong Kong in a full flight video. So yeah, Kate is coming on board, then we get the, the passengers and baggage all on the aircraft and then we'll be on our way. So let's get inside the cockpit. And you can see we're at a stand, November 2.6. Uh, I don't have a lot of power on, so let's just go and get the external power get connected up here. And uh, we'll go and get that on. I, said they, I thought they said they fixed this issue. Um, apparently not. Let's just switch these over here. Electrics, yeah, so it's actually on, but it should say on, but it doesn't. Anyway, irises, those, those can go on. Flight deck door power on. The most six lights can be armed. Window heats on. Hydraulics can stay off. Seatbelts can stay off for now. Uh, we're going to need to go close up these doors. Uh, this is looking all good on this side. And packs to auto. Going up to EFB. With the dispatch. I think so. The aircraft is doing some testing, as you can hear. Uh, we are going to be taking on board our fuel. Well, let's, let's do our zero fuel weight first. So, total zero fuel weight is going to be 383.3. .3. Okay, for some reason, uh, Simroof decided to do it in pounds. I don't know why. So, 173 tons, 862, I guess is the closest rounding there. So, 200 and 30 passengers on board our aircraft today. So 230. Like so. Okay, I've got to do the same calculation for the fuel. So we are expected to take 53 tons of fuel. Uh, however, we are going to be taking 24. <laughs> uh, zero, four, zero, apparently. Like so. Set the fuel tanks, set the payload. There we are. Performance, we are going to go, no, we can't copy from the FMC data just yet, and set up, set up the rest of the aircraft. Uh, in fact, let's just go and get the QNH here at Hong Kong, which is 1020. It's going to reset its barrow and set us to hexapascals, 1020, like so. That can go off to the ND, that can go over there, checklist open. HPA, cargo doors, I'll get open, like so. In fact, we'll get those lights up as well, so uh, the baggage people can kind of see what they're doing. Uh, island page, 19, 1910, latest air act cycle, that's correct. Uh, we are at Hong Kong. At gates, uh, I don't think it will enter in, so we'll just uh, skip that. Uh, RSs, I guess, have aligned. Uh, sometimes, when you align it up, it doesn't ask the internal position, it just calculates automatically. Uh, so we'll just leave it. Route request, we are flying uh, from Hong Kong to Singapore, so not Singapore to Hong Kong route, this one, like so. And the departure runway we have programmed in for today is the, is it 02 or is it, 07, sorry not 02, 02 to Hong Kong, 07 right, like so. And today we're flying at Singapore Airlines, so SIA87. One. If you want to fly this route, you can just go and pause the video and enter in the, uh, well, it's just this page actually, just enter in all these uh, lovely digits and you'll get the same route as what I'm doing today. Activate, execute, perfect it. Final reserve for today is uh, 2 and we're going to be cruising today. Let's see what, uh, yeah, PFPX, uh, not PFPX, Simbrief, sorry, is uh, going to a cruise altitude of 390. But if I check in the rear world, does it cruise? I think it cruises at. No, it cruises at 350. Uh, if Simbu thinks 390 is possible, then uh, we'll go for it. Cost index for today. Uh, apparently, according to uh, the cost index database I have, it says 150 for the Singapore Airlines 747s and 777s. So I'm just using the same for the uh, 787. So I execute that. This can go over to the departure and arrival page. 
departing out of 07 right, and we'll be doing the Titan Wanaku departure. We're the last page. There we are. Make sure there's no discontinuities. Yeah, that's all good. Okay, so we go to the first limit page. However, we're going to go over to here first and initialize our flight. And we will go to the performance page and starting at 07 right. This is a bit bright. Turn it down a bit. There we are. This is currently dry. Um, I'm guessing all those conditions are correct. It kind of captures everything from what it is. It's actually zero at three knots. Like so. It's variable. It's actually variable between 000 and 360. So it's variable everywhere. <laughs> and the current temperature is 29 degrees and 0020. So yeah, that's all good. Optimum. Uh, oh, what? Zero at three. Is it not like zero? Does it take 360 then? Okay, cool. That work. Optimum, optimum, calculate. So it's giving us flats 5, D rate 2 with the V speed, so we're going to send to FMC like so. Go over to the FMC, we will set that. So yeah, D rate 2, I'll just double click the CG there to get that correct. So flats 5, 34, um, sector temp at D rate 2. So uh, not very powerful departure, 73.4% on our N1 there. So uh, not too bad. Okay. Let's go over and do the checklist. So oxygen, the pre-flight checklist is check to my side, and sorry, hold that down. Check to the other side. That's all good. Flight instruments, as you can see, they're all up and running and good. Uh, quad twins is going to do that annoying thing, so we have to talk over it. Good thing we, uh, I, I won't worry about the terminal shots because. They're a bit boring. Uh, let's just go and turn off uh, the EFBs there. Go over here. We get the root data request. Sorry, our winds. We've got the fuel on board, so we get the seatbelt signs on as well. So let's wait for the wind request to come through. There we are. Load, execute, clear off these messages. There we are. That's the normal next page. Cool. If we go to the next page, that's entered. That's all good. Cool. Okay, so fashion signs are on, MCP, uh, 155, uh, I'll also talk over to the, over this announcement, which I told it to turn off. Uh, so 155 uh, for the V2 speed, 07 right, heading is 074, let's get that scrolled all the way over, 074, oh wow, he's jumping, he didn't jump while I'm scrolling like normally, there we are. And our initial climb altitude or clearance is 5,000 feet, like so, uh, with the transition altitude being 9,000 feet. So go down here to the VNAV page, 9,000 feet, like so. There we are. Go back to that page. Cool. NCP, that's all good. Take our speeds. Let's go through that. V1, 150, rotating at the same speed as 150 as well. And V2 is 155. Let's check. CD pre flight checklist. Oh, pre flight checklist completed. Um, taxi and takeoff briefing. Uh, do we have an airport map? Nope. That's annoying. Anyway, we'll push back with the nose going to the right. Oh, there's taxi up there. I don't know what taxi way that is. There we go and find it. That is Bravo 7. We'll take Bravo and then we'll, we'll, we'll head down the Whiskey, which just take us around. Uh, we'll take Bravo, then Whiskey takes us around the back of the terminal. And then we'll taxi up a way, um, taxiway called Juliet, and that'll take us all the way to 07. Right. Cool. And the departure is very simple. Straight up departure, right turn, and basically make our way over to Singapore. Pretty simple. There we are. So, not too much of the passenger count left to uh, get in the aircraft. And I bet the, uh, the cargo won't be uh, too far behind as well. When the catering is on board, I saw the uh, the reflections lighting up in this cannon. It looked very, very nice. I'm not sure why, but this looks very low resolution. Um, as you can see, it looks pretty off. I'm not sh too sure why it looks like that. But I don't really like it. Uh, just this, this just this section. Like, the other bits are fine. But this looks really weird. I don't, I don't know why, but whatever. Uh, so yeah, we've got about, what, five crates each side to get on the aircraft. And that one's just doing its, uh, its second one. It's about to do its second one this side, on the front side. And yeah, let's take a look at the aircraft again. Look how long it is. I'm going to really zoom out here. There you go. 
78710. Look at all the stars in the sky. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, it's a blue star. I don't know my stars are planets, but I'm guessing that is a planet. It'll be like Neptune or something. But yeah, there you go. There's all the stars. You really zoom out. You can really see the star. This is Stargazer, by the way, guys, from uh, Chris Bell Design Studios. I think I've got a 4K moon. So uh, I zoom in pretty far, and uh, it's, it's pretty detailed. You just sort of move that, actually. There we are. Okay. Cool. I will see you. I'll just get the video and I'll see you once uh, the baggage and boarding is all complete. And I'll be getting ready for our departure. Okay, boarding is complete. For some reason, my sim decided to crash, uh, but luckily we got auto safe, so everything's all good. Well, it wasn't a crash, it was like a device error thing with the uh, NVIDIA uh, DXGI device hung. I don't know why. I've been getting that. I don't know if it's because of the quality wings or. Uh, it's, I've only just been getting it since I've installed the quality wings, and this is all this is all I've flown. So I don't know if it's the quality wings causing this, um, but yeah, I've just got that error. And we also got it last time at uh, on the on the Singapore departure. I got one as well on that live stream. But we are back. Also, saves great. Um, so I have requested push back, but we do need to go and close up the doors and get our APU started up. Like so. So if you're starting up, beacon lights coming on. There we are. So yeah, we'll go over to the Stisson page like so. I can zoom in a bit. Right, let's go and get the MCPs set up. So flight director is on. So we've got Thossel on our VNAV. And over here we can get the traffic and the terrain. Traffic just on this side. Data VORs. And this side can have the VSD as well. Okay, close L2, it is closed, and um, let's go and get some lighting set up, because we're going to soon be getting out of this done out lighting, glorious, uh, or glory, uh, so we need, we need to get some lighting in, like so, it should soon ask for the pushback, or not, I'm not too sure. It's flashing, was oh, now is it closing? Uh, yes. So it knows right for today. Cool. So is the APU running? Go to the electric page. It is running. So external power can go. It's available. External power can go. Park brick set. So work trucks can go as well. Actually, cabin lighting can go on as well. Like so. Cool. Go to the ND. Uh, actually, no, we can stay on the system page. Stats. Or we'll go Hello, to Captain. the. We are ready for pushback. Well, I don't really need to go and look at this page anymore. We'll get to the light control page. Because we'll be using that soon. Uh, so, yeah, it reset, like, when, it, when the sim crashed, it reset everything here as well. So, it's very weird. I don't, I don't know why I did it, but it happened. That's what we've got to live with. Okay. Got the new GSX sounds, these are all default now. If you upgrade GSX, or update, sorry, GSX, these are all default. Very nice sounds that GSX has provided now. Well, for the stream team, provided for GSX. Uh, should be uh, getting the pushback very soon. There we are. Bypass pin inserted. Release parking brakes. Parker brakes released. Commencing push. Earth okay. Engines clear. Start at will. Get the fuel pumps on, there's no fuel in the center. We've only got, what, 25? 24 tons of fuel on board, uh, so no, I don't need to get the center pumps on. We'll get the hydraulics on as well. There we are. The fault lights are off. And we are cleared to start both engines. So starting engines. Bringing the fuel as well straight away. And uh, there's the engines starting up. Get outside for this view. I don't know why GSX has got like water on that, even though it's not raining. Very weird. It is what it is, right? It is what it is. His engine's powering up. Here we go. We already have one sim crash, we're not even on the ground, off the ground. <laughs> Hopefully, we don't have it again. That'd be, that'd, that'd be very annoying. I need to look into that. I might need to re uh, reinstall my driver or something. Anyway, all the uh, 
The water is gone. Engines are running. Like so. So the tea gas is the only warning that's given to us now. It's just off. All the electrics are running from the engine, so if you can go off. Like so. Hydraulics up and running, as you can see there. Lovely. I'll have to do the flat control check, but I won't really do it in the pushback state because this is not standard procedure, I guess you could say. Alright. Hopefully GSX doesn't give us too, a, too much of a dodgy uh, pushback. I mean, at least it hasn't done us done a pushback like that super tight. So it's been okay. It's just straightening up now, I'm not too sure if this is going to stop us at this angle. Or if this is going to straighten up again on the taxiway. Yeah, there we go. Where's the marshal? There he is. Cool. Bit dark now. It's a bit dark in the cockpit as well. I mean, turn up some more lights. A bit brighter in here would be nice. Set parking brakes. There we are, parking brakes set. Cool. Let's go do the flight control check. Pull left. Checked. Central, full right. Checked. Okay, good. All the way back. All the way forward. Cool. That's checked on the flag controls. Let's do the rudder now. Full right. It sounded like the sound like the P at the um park brake got released then, but it's a bug. It hasn't actually got released. I don't know why it does it. So full left as well. There we are. Cool. That's checked. Trim 4.0. That's what it is at default. So yay. I can go to the ND. No, in fact, we'll go to the checklist page. You can do the full taxi checklist. So NCS not needed to recall so the TGS auto breakers RTO. Flight controls have been checked. Waiting for the ground equipment to be clear. Cool. I wonder if they fixed the wing light. Uh, that's not too bad. It's better than what it used to be. This cowling seems to be a bit less of a, a super, super bright looking thing. Actually, yeah, it's not too bad now. Left is Just. clear. Right is clear. <laughs> ground equipment is clear. Well, it's not actually clear, but left is clear and right is clear, but whatever. Uh, before taxi, I'll oh, take off, sorry, checklist. Flats 5, that'll be it. Set flats 5, and that'll tick off, and we can close the checklist. Once uh, flats 5 set, have a good trip. Thank you, GSX. We'll get on the way. Put text light on. So we'll just carry on taxiing then. Bravo 7 here. A bit more power before takeoff checklist is complete. There we are, cool. Back to the ND page. Yeah, we don't have any uh, ground charts, but I know where I'm taxiing. Well, I think I do. I hope I do. <laughs> it's a rather long taxi. Because, uh, we're going to the very end of the, uh, or other side of the airport, so I'll most likely skip this taxi part of the video, as uh, it's a bit lengthy, you might want to say. Okay. I'm not too sure why I was getting those crashes. Um, the, d the device hung crash. It's very weird. I keep thinking it's like to do with the driver, like I did a, a faulty driver install, but you know, I mean, it could be just be the driver itself. It, it could be a faulty driver. I could just revert back to the other one. I, I didn't experience any. So uh, I'm going to do that after the video, not now, obviously, I'm flying, but whatever. Okay, uh, that's a bit of a fast turn. I might not do that. I shouldn't do that again. Not, not might, I shouldn't do that again. Anyway. Uh, I'm just going to go and taxi all the way to 07 right. It's a long taxi, there's no point in me uh, recording it all. Uh, what is there to say and chat about? Uh, so I'll see you at the hold short to 07 right. Okay, we are just approaching uh, Juliet 1. We're approaching Juliet 2. And then we're going to Juliet 1. I actually taxi without the turn offs, but it doesn't really matter. Don't really need them today. Taxi. There we are. Juliet 1, just up ahead. And uh, take a right, left, and not right. Take a left onto 07, right. That's probably where I got the right from. Get the HUDs down. Let's see what we're doing for our departure. Just get it on this side, as uh, we're not using the first officer. We don't have a first officer today. Uh, all the animal lights on, taxi light off, strobe on. Make sure no AI is taxiing. Landing or taking off. No, it's alright. Cool. Make our way onto the runway. Weather radar can go on as well. There we are, it's on. Let's get ourselves lined up here. Very long aircraft. So wide turn. 
onto the runway. Like so. Okie dokie, let's get the tea gas set to T A R A, like so. T A only when we're on the ground. Uh, it seems like it's just gone straight to T A R A, but whatever. So, flight directors is on be now, Vels now set, alt throttles armed, lights all on. Let's get out of here. So, 50%, make sure the, air, uh, the aircraft is stable. There we are, Toga. That's more like 40% when I checked, but whatever. So looking for 37.4% oh, and 1. Yeah, that's it. Uh, no, it's not. Let's be the live. Thrust is set. 80 knots. It's not actually, it's just under actually, 73%. Uh, anyway. Ah, oh, lovely sounds. The TSS sound pack for the 787. Very nice. V1, rotate. It's a long aircraft, so I do not want to get a tail strike here. There we are, in the air, post rate gear out. Cool, there we are. Traffic, traffic. Traffic, oh no. Where's that? To the left of us? That'd be awesome. That, oh wait, did I not get the strobes on? I did, I did. Sorry, I, th I thought I didn't have them on for a sec. It's all good. Cool. There's 2000. Let's just change this. We're not on. We are offline, so we can set this all the way up to 390. No problem. Make sure. Everything's cleared off, so we can go straight there. Cool, autopilot can go on. Autopilot on. Autopilot is on. Autopilot in command. Autopilot in command, sorry. Uh, checklist, I'll take a checklist. Let's get the flaps up. Is that everything cleared off? Is the root, oh, the root data doesn't come through again. Which is the progress page. We should be landing a bit more than the 7.6, as it says there. We've got, oh no, a bit less, okay. <laughs> 7.4, that's enough fuel. All the flaps up now. HUD can go away. There's Hong Kong in the distant. Look at that. Beautiful night lighting as well. Hong Kong. Everything looks gorgeous at night time. Especially to go outside and blimey are these engine sounds loud. Okie dokie. I'll take a check. It's, it's complete. There we are. Bye bye Hong Kong. Let's go back to Singapore, shall we? I'm not sure what's going on in that reflection. That looks horrendously disgusting. <laughs> what's that? That is disgusting. Okay, it's gone now, which is nice. <laughs> uh, right, let's just go and reset this heading to about 180 when we just pass our next waypoint. Like so. It's jumping about, let's get it's actually about that sort of heading. We'll make six or so. 9,000 feet is our transition altitude out of Hong Kong. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I can't really name any buildings. Uh, I haven't been to Hong Kong, I don't know much about Hong Kong, but that looks like a stadium there. <laughs> Could be like a tennis court, I don't know what it is, football, whatever. Um, don't laugh at me. I don't know my things. It's very simple. I don't know what it is. I'm sorry, my bad. <laughs> okay. Timers automatically uh, starts for those who don't know that, so uh, it's a very very neat feature. Because if you forget to start the timer, it's done it for you, and it's great. Okay, so we are passing at a nine thousand feet mark very soon, very soon, and uh, we're gonna set standard pressure as we uh, pass the altitude. It's basically the same as from one zero one two to one zero one three. And uh, also, when you're passing 10,000, we'll get the lights off. So yeah, about 7 tons of fuel for the landing, that's perfectly fine. As long as you don't do, you have to uh, go for the go-around, and uh, that's absolutely fine. So, we're just passing 10,000 feet here. We'll set this heading to about the aircraft actual direction, like so, 182. And that's 10,000, so lights off. There we are. And look like can uh, stay on for the cinematics, but normally we just turn them off, uh, standard procedures, but because we're in a simulator, it doesn't, we can leave them on and it looks cool. 
Of course, they dim the cabin lights for departure. My bad. No, I've done them now anyway, because I don't think I've got bright lights always uh, in the uh, aircraft. So there, there we are. We are in the air, climbing to 390, nice and safely. We're now accelerating up to 326 first uh, before we go and get our crazy climb rate again. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the departure out of Hong Kong. I'll see you in the arrival to Singapore. Enjoy the cinematics, and bye bye. Then into Singapore Changi International Airport. We're just passing flight level, well, just past flight level 200, uh, approaching 190, and let's get the seatbelts on straight away. Been flying for 2 hours and 48 minutes. Uh, we have 8 tons of fuel on board, expected to land with 7.5 tons of uh, fuel on board at 1517 Zulu, which is basically in 9 minutes. Very dark outside, uh, as it, well, it should be in. It might be the day already, in a very short night time. The moon's still there, that's all good. Uh, go to the checklist page and we'll do the send checklist. So, recall is checked, nothing. Notes have been checked. Auto break for today. Uh, we're landing on 2 2 right. At the terminal, we want to go and park up at, I believe, is the like the opposite side of the. I'm not sure about the audio right now of the game. There we are. Uh, I think it's like the opposite side of the landing runway. I'm just going to check my charts by going over here. Let's see if we've got terminal charts complete. Actually, this is moaning a bit right now. Let me go and get the transition altitude for the arrival, uh, which is 11,000 feet. Let's just go and plug that into the forecast here. Have they done wind requests for descent yet? Nope. Okay, there we are. Uh, let's go to the other side and charts. So it's, it's quarter wing, so it's an OTF. Okay, uh, Singapore. We will go and does it have a? It's just got the stars and ILSs. It doesn't actually have any ground charts. Okay, right. Let me just go and get it from the ground then. So I am going to be parking up. Yeah. Uh, actually, no. We'll be parking up. Yeah, two zero right. Yeah, that's that's alright. Okay, we want to be vacating whiskey six. So we'll pick one. Be fine. All right. Cool. That's set. Okay, dokie. So auto break set. Landing data. VREF is flaps thirty one forty three knots. And if we go over to right there, charts again, I can find the minimums for two zero right, which is two one three on the barrow. Two one three or, or two hundred on the radio, but two one three. Uh, we're going to set it to 2, uh, 210. Let's 
Get reset. There we go. 210. Cool. Get back to here and just turn off that again. Awesome. So minimums are set. Also, the QH at Changi is 1020, exactly the same as it was in Hong Kong. Set that like so. 1020. And this is complete. Approach briefing. We're just currently uh, coming down on the. Oh, what arrival this is called. <laughs> the Alalo 1 Burabo arrival. And we're going to go via nylon onto the RLS 20. Right. Very simple. Approach briefing is complete. Altimeters are not set. We'll keep that approach checklist up. I know it's maintained. I'll bring it some speed rate. So, yeah, at 11,000 feet, we'll go and set uh, 101. One, two. Let's be exam out. Out. This deceleration has two. Oh, no. Quality, quality Wings does this all the time. It changes its mind about what speed it wants to go and descend at. Uh, we'll go and get the aircraft, though, to descend all the way down to 3,000. Hopefully by nylon. Um, we should be at 3,000, roughly, more or less. And it's above, so it'll be whatever it is. Hopefully we can grab our localizer and the glider soap for that. So the aircraft wants to go to 240 knots again. I'm just going to let it do its thing because it may jump up again. But once we get down to like maybe 11,000 feet from transition altitude, then I'll start thinking about the aircraft I actually wants to go down to 240 knots. Okay. Cool. There is nothing else to do much. Nothing else to do much. That doesn't sound good English. <laughs> There's not much else to do uh, other than waiting until 11,000 feet, so I'll, I'll see that. Okay, 11,000 feet, it's time to pressure. 102, uh, 102, sorry, blimey, is now set. Now the aircraft seems to be pretty confident about the deceleration down to 240 knots, so I think about half the first speed brakes out. I don't want to bring it all full whack, uh, so that should be enough. I can't really see the speed brake though. I'm just about to see it there. <laughs> It's very faint as it's at night, I guess you could say, I mean, which is true. Uh, so, yeah, decelerating down to 240 knots. Just changes the range on here. Uh, we do have the ground charts for Singapore, but I can't remember if they're accurate or not. Uh, my apologies if they are pretty bad. Right, approach checklist is complete, and now we've got the landing checklist to get on with next. Passing 10,000 feet now, so we've got the landing lights on, so all the landing lights. Plus the turn offs will be good. And I think that lights up the fuselage. Yes. Let's see a bit more of the aircraft now. Lovely. I'll see if I can try and remember to turn off the cabin lighting for the uh, landing into uh, Singapore, but they're, they're on the dimmest setting anyway right now. To, to turn it to the pink and the brightest. Can you actually see that? There, there you go. Lovely. Look at that red. I don't know. I don't know who uses a green cabin lighting, but. Uh, there's an option for it. <laughs> Let's go back to normal. Okay, cool. Still decelerating down to 240 knots. We, we kind of are speeding. Maybe we should use a bit more than just half speed rate. Should just put it all the way out, but whatever. There we are, getting a bit effective for deceleration there now. We're on the VNAV, uh, so I guess the aircraft's calculated it's absolutely going to be fine <laughs> for this arrival. I mean, at IDVAS, it wants to be at 2,500 feet above, and Enduro is 1,500, so it will actually have to be at 3,000 at nylon. You know, it seems like it's coming back in again, but yeah, like I said, it actually have to be at 3,000 feet, otherwise we'd be holding at a certain altitude, maybe 3,000, 2,500, until the glide slope gets into play, uh, let's say. Uh, I will go and just kind of descend with it, by using the uh, vertical speed until we get the localizer, then we can just go and straight away get the glide soap. So there's 240 knots, get rid of the speed brake, like so. And is it, is it going to accelerate again? <laughs> do I need a constant speed brake out? Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to set flaps one, that will just produce some drag. Hopefully, that will uh, mean we don't actually have to bring the speed brake out. Yeah, that'll do. Flaps one will do. Cool. On the speed brake. Bit of lights are coming through. Look at that. Black marble extended lights pack. Look at all the lights going all the way over to the distance there. And Stargazer. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. If we go into this, we'll go down to 230. We have to flaps up. Debug speed 227, actually. 
so we're on the glass slope, so what we'll do, like I said, we'll just continue descending at the current vertical speed. And uh, we'll just try and keep on that glass slope as well. So on the approach. And we'll bring out or we'll bring down the HUD to set up so it's in this view, which is very very useful for landing. You can see the altitude here and the, the descent rate and everything, the speed, whatnot. But it's not too much of a a vis visuals hogger as this so, I like it like this. Okay, so yeah, decelerating at a, descending, sorry, at a nice speed. So as soon as we get that localizer, we should be able to get that glide so at the very same time, which would be nice. And then we can get like a CDA approach, which uh, I don't know what that means. It's a continued descent approach. So you don't actually hold at any altitude. You continually descend all the way down from the cruise, which is very good for your fuel. And you can see we've only used 0.3 since we came back into the, uh, into the video, so very very nice I'm not going to bring out any more flaps because that will just like change up or change the speed it will just change the uh, vertical speed so I'm just going to keep it as it is until we get that localizer and bring out some more flaps maybe flaps 5 will do uh, but that will be it I just don't want to get off that vertical speed bring the speed down to 210 knots like so there's the localizer and the glide slope and of course turning left I'm guessing once I go up to that glide slope but then it will just turn right again like light soaps like bounce all the way up, but whatever. <laughs> two hundred uh actually what's our distance we're two hundred and ten miles out, so we'll go we'll keep it at two at uh, two ten. Until we're twelve miles out, which you can see up there as well. Uh we will go and set one eighty knots. And about six to eight miles to uh, to the runway. We will go and set our final approach speed, which is one hundred and forty eight. So one four three plus five. Okay, so current Winds are 230 at 3 knots, available actually from uh, 210 to 320, and uh, it's 25 degrees right now in Changi at night. I know, but uh, very nice weather, I guess you could say, at night time, which is interesting. <laughs> Bring down the range on there, and on there, that'd be a final like zoom settings, as you per se, on that side. I think in like once more there, because we will be using like, the airport charts and everything, which is very nice. Okay, so that's all good. Runway heading is selected, 203, and yeah, we'll just keep the descent going as it is. Cool. Okay, we're just about to pass that 15 mile mark, so 3 miles till 12 miles, which means 180. Um, we'll set like 180 at 14 miles so we can get down to that speed when we hit 12 miles out from the runway. Uh, just got We went through some clouds, FPS is down, I can see the runway lights over there in the distance. We're going to set 180 now. Like so. What's that speed detent? I can't see a thing. Uh, we can set flaps 10. Cool. Flaps 10's coming out. Yeah, a bit turbulent. I'm not sure if the weather. I don't know. They said they fixed the weather radar, but I'm not, I'm not too sure on that. I'm not too sure on that. So yeah. The FPS has definitely died. Um, that's fine. It's not too bad, actually. Uh, it's, yeah, obviously it's going to be a bit bad. Monitor Singapore's are very line. detailed. Line. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry, that aircraft's, uh, I can see. It's all good. AI taking off the run wrong runway, again. Uh, right. Let's go past 3,000, and I'm just going to check the... Yeah, 5,000 is the missed approach altitude, so I'm going to go 5,000 uh, set in there, like so. Awesome. And let me just, yeah, let me go and get the airport charts ready for when we touch down. See, more, more of the runway lights will get with the HUD, you can see it a bit better. But, uh, oh, well, look at the lights of Singapore City. That looks, oh, so nice. So nice. Cool. Okay. Alright. What I can do is kind of, like, get GSX ready for when we uh, touch down. Uh, it's pretty cool to do that, but what I'm going to do is just set the approach speed and let the aircraft decelerate to 148 knots and next set of flaps. So yeah, what we could do is try and park up or get GSX ready at one of the Bravo stands. Uh, Bravo um, for my airline. Bravo 10? No, Bravo 5. And there we are. So that should be ready for us when we get on the ground, which is a really cool feature. Right, get down! Can't see the gear, but 
whatever. Gear's <laughs> coming down. And that'll produce a lot more drag. And we can slow down. Hopefully new AR I get on the runway for our landing, because that would be rather annoying. Um, it's going to bring out some more flaps. Let's go down to 18. Gears down, that's green. Flaps 18 as well set. Still want to go all the way down to flaps 30 though. And three, cool. So the aircraft's happy with the landing. Or set up, I guess. And all the flaps now are passing six miles. Okay. That's normal. And D. You see the whole charts now. Everything's good. Let's go to disconnect the autopilot. The autopilot's disconnected. My aircraft. Keep the autopilot in though. Because that's uh, a lot better at keeping the speed than I am. Okay, dokie. So if there's an aircraft on the runway that I can see, I'll just turn off auto traffic live. It's a very simple procedure. And uh, bring it back on once we vacate the runway. Plus 1000. Quite a long while ago. Sorry about that. Don't call it out. Verify it. The aircraft calls it out. You just meant to verify it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't see any aircraft, which is which is good. But I do have a HUD in my way. Got the airport chart. I've just noticed it's coming into play there. Look at that. Looks so nice. Bring those down just a tad bit more. There we go. Four hundred. Lovely. Let's get seven eight seven ten on the ground. Minimums. Continuing. Here we go. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. A little bit aggressive yeah. in the flare there, sorry about that. But we are on the ground. Not too bad, not a float at all. We kept the descending very smoothly. <laughs> Had a very nice landing rate. There we are on the ground. Minimum reverse. Reverse screen, sorry. Decel. What's fix one? Spoilers out. I don't think, think they are. Yeah. Cool. Mana braking. Forward idle. Vacate left. Let's see. Let's hope, sorry. That, uh, UTL hasn't stolen our stand, which is just over wherever it is. Okay. A bit of lag spikes, that's fine. Tax light on, strobe off, and the lights off. Stand by on the TGAS, all the way the flap, all the flaps up, sorry. Spoilers can go away. And I'll just uh, go to the left here. So I think uh, our stand is just over there somewhere. I see GSX. Yeah, I can see GSX just in the background there, so we'll take a left around. Welcome, it's another weather, weather radar. Welcome to Singapore. Flight time, three hours, six minutes. Very nice. Hard can also go. So a wide turn. There's aircraft. Very nice. We have made it safely. What was that landing rate? Minus 56 feet per minute. Blimey, that was smooth. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, let's break and go off from the disarm position. And bring up the checklist page for the shutdown. We're not doing shutdown now, but AP can go up. We'll start up, sorry. And we'll take a right in here. Like so. And then our left. That's a wide. I keep saying how much of a wide turn this is, but it really is nice. I'm not too sure that the wheels at the back, they don't operate the same as like a 777 or 747, where the back, the main landing gear, some of the wheels turn to help you turn around a corner. I'm pretty sure this doesn't have that feature. Uh, so you've got to really take this wide uh, when you're turning. So, that's enough to turn off, so you don't need them anymore. I don't want to blind any uh, 
staff on the ground, so you can see there's a GSX all set up, ready for us to park up at. There's no Emirates A380 I saw on the landing, there it is over there, and the other aircraft, there's Singapore, Air, Singapore Airlines A380s as well, they are, they are indeed. So I'll take a turn down here as well, AP's running, lovely. Here is Bravo uh, 5 on the right. Tax light off. And let's park up. Look at the PBR textures there. Look at that. Beautiful. B E A U D F U L. Alrighty. Let's uh, get this aircraft in. Parked up. We have the Marshaller, but we also have a Sod Jetway. Uh, Safe Dock, sorry. I'm not sure which one I should trust. Probably both. Which one do I trust more? Oh, they both face up at the band about the same time. Cool. Right, park a brake set. Like so. APU, if we go to the stat page, we can just double check this uh, APU metrics are on. Oh, generators are on, so engines. We'll say goodnight, and we can say goodnight to the hydraulics as well, and the fuel pumps, and the seatbelts can go off. So if the air, just wait for the N1 to uh, decrease, and about things like below 15%, when you should technically just turn off the uh, the beacon light, which is now, so the light can go off, and we can go across the boarding. Complete flight, project fly, and there we have it. Deboarding requested. Oh, GSX, there are so jetways here. I don't know if you knew that. There are so jetways. Oh, gosh. GSX. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Right, let me go and fix this. Okay, so what jetway do we connect up to which door? I believe that we're going to get one to door, uh, one left, and three to two left. Does that mean they'll clip? I think they will. Oh, this may clip. Three and two, but I think no matter what I do, these two will clip uh, into each other. <laughs> Whatever. It is what it is. What do, where do we park up? Did we actually park up the 787? No, we parked at the... Oh, yeah, we did. We kind of, we kind of went a bit further than we thought, but it's basically in the 787 mark. If we were going, coming in a bit slower, we could have that. Parts right on that on the mark, but yeah, welcome to Singapore, everyone. We, we have returned the 78710 back to the base, and uh, it's going to open up some of the cargo doors. Otherwise, they'll start moaning at us. Get those lights on as well. And open up door L1 and door L2. There we are. Those doors are opening. Uh, go and get the external power and the wood shocks connected up, and we can get external power on. And then get the APU off. Like so. Go back to the checklist. Parking brakes. Doesn't need to be set. That's the pitch trim. My bad. Oh, no, it does need to be set. Otherwise, G6 doesn't like it. So we'll keep it on. And there we are. So, hope you guys enjoyed the flight with us so from Hong Kong to Singapore on the Quality Wing 78710. Absolutely long plane uh, compared to the other 787s. It's not that long compared to like the 747, for example. but it's a 787 and the so jetway is not rendered there in that view. So I'm trying to find a good view. But I guess that's kind of cool. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys for watching the video. And the well, I hope, hopefully you watched the whole of the video. If not, then why haven't you? <laughs> and anyway, thank you for watching guys. I'll see you next time and bye-bye for now.